Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Monday morning. I have a call in like a half an hour, first call of the day. And this week I am going to make a very concentrated effort to try to, well, sorry about that, the dishwasher just kicked in, but I'm gonna try to uh, curb my big old belly. And, and also I've been having a lot of, of pain, especially like in my shoulders and my neck. And really what this all gets down to is being a big fat lazy chode. So I am going to make that effort this week to sort of break the pattern of a few of my bad habits. One, I have no portion control, so I eat too much, regardless of whether it's good or not. And I'm not going to claim that most of what I eat is good, since it isn't. I also am going to try to get to the rec center today so that I can get my membership back up and start going to the rec center. But for now, the, well, I guess there's one more thing that, that's happening this week and that's Friday night. We're going to go get our COVID boosters and I just sort of want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. So basically this week, except for when I'm on the road, I can't do it then, but I'm going to be having more or less liquid breakfasts at the very least. And I'm going to put that all together right now and show you what I'm talking about. So let's make breakfast. In the past, when I've done like cleansing systems, uh, everything was apple based. So uh, apple juice was the base liquid in, in any of the drinks that I did. That was a long time ago. This isn't a cleansing system. This is just basically a liquid meal that, that's full of everything that I'm supposed to need. It took me a while to find a base liquid. And of course, I found that at Trader Joe's because that's where I go most of the time for groceries. The problem with Trader Joe's is that once you get used to something, they freaking discontinue it. So it took me a while then to find a replacement. And lately it's been this Trader Joe's to the power of seven green organic juice beverage. So it's a, it's a green based drink. And that's, that's really what it gets down to is that I try to keep everything as green as possible. So I start off with eight ounces of this, four ounces of this low fat kefir, plain, unsweetened, no flavors or any of that kind of stuff. And I go four ounces of that. So I get it up to 12 and I don't measure this at all. I just sort of put in what I want, but this is Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. So I pour a little bit of that in there. Usually you're supposed to put like a tablespoon or a couple tablespoons and I just sort of pour it until that's, I don't know, just pour whatever the hell you want in there. And then I started using this Garden of Life raw organic meal in vanilla flavor. Sometimes they don't have the organic meal and I just end up getting vanilla protein powder and I put in a full scoop of that. And this has gone back and forth too because of uh, various changes of where I am and, and what I can get. So this is Amazing Grass, Amazing Trio. It's barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. So I like to really load up on the green there. And then I just shake it up really well. The one thing that I've always loathed about any of these kind of proteiny type drinks and power drinks and all that shit is uh, if you're making it with, with powders, then inevitably you're gonna be eating chunks of, of unmixed powder. So I got one of these blender bottles. I think this was at Whole Foods maybe. I don't know, I got this so long ago, I don't even remember. And it basically has like a little ball of, of metal that acts as a mixer throughout there. So when you're like, if you kind of hear it banging around in there, breakfast is prepared. And normally it wouldn't take this long, but you know, I'm explaining it to you and showing you what I'm doing because you know, you can't figure out how to pour liquid into a container and dump some powder in and then shake it up. So that's it. This is it. This is breakfast. I'm going to have this. My wife, on autopilot this morning made an entire container of coffee, which meant that she filled her tumbler and had another, almost like another tumbler worth of coffee left. So she was kind enough to pour it into my Yeti cup and come up when she said goodbye and told me that she made me coffee. So I don't have to make coffee. And I got a half an hour before my meeting. So I'm just going to continue to surf the internet a little bit. Think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, uh, you know, in between calls and yeah, go with that. Don't know what's coming in today, but whatever comes in that I bought 
if anything comes in, I'll bring you along. But for now, time for breakfast. All right, the next task for today. I've mentioned this before, but I bought a knife. Here we are at the UPS store. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see if my knife is in fact there, since it shows that it was delivered on the 10th. Let's see what happens. Look at that. It's, it's wrapped in Chinese newspaper. Okay, so here we have the Kube knife. I can't remember what it's called. It's definitely gonna have to be cleaned. It's a nice, got a nice weight. Seems like it's balanced nice. Little thumb grooves on the top there, curve there for your fingers to fit in. It's very aggressive. And because of all of the shading, it's got black and like the steel color on it and black on the top and, and all the little angles that are cut into it, it, it almost looks like it's thinner there in the middle and then it would break, but it's not because if you hold it up and you look at it straight on, it's a nice thick piece of steel. All right, and one of the things that, that I have several Emerson knives, one of the things that, that I actually don't like about it, which is probably one of the reasons why a lot of people do like it, it's a very aggressive texture and it ends up scraping the shit out of every pair of pants that I have and anything that goes against it. it it's, it's almost like super rough sandpaper. And, and you know, that, that, that's like an, a phenomenon. You can tell somebody that carries a knife because you can see that the, the, the spot in the pocket is always shredded. So this doesn't have the aggressive. It's aggressive enough to make it good and grippy, but it isn't so aggressive that I feel like it's gonna shatter anything. Kind of a typical sheath. Retention, don't think it's gonna come out. Okay, so I got my damn knife and now I will carry it around for the next week and see how comfortable it is, see if it's sharp, see if it keeps its edge, see if I like it, or if it just becomes another knife that I have but don't carry all the time. Now, it is fairly sizable, but that's what I wanted. I wanted a, a fixed blade. I didn't want a folder, so we'll see how that goes. Now, the other thing I need to take out of today, like I, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do it now, is that I need to... Uh, my tire warning keeps coming on. So I need to see what's going on. It shouldn't, I, I mean, it doesn't make a difference that it's cold out. It shouldn't be coming on anyways, but definitely it, it comes on when it's colder out, which means that I probably need to get air in the tire. I'm hoping that I don't have a nail or anything. And I just haven't taken the time to stop at a discount tire where I got them put on and all that stuff where I bought them and have them look at it. All right, we're home. Time to get ready for the next meeting, meaning I need to check my tires. Check the air in your tires, kids. It's the number one cause of accidents. I don't know if that's true or not. All right, kids, this is just for fun. I'm in the library and decided that I would end the video now. I did actually hook up the SL60 with the softbox down in the garage. It was just like, because there was just so much junk there, I couldn't get the camera set up in the right place with the softbox far enough away that it wasn't just harsh and everything. So I thought, ah, screw it, I'll just do this in the in the library. And I got the Ulanzi lights going. So obviously I had that one in pink, that one on kind of like teal, and then this one's just on white light right in front of me. So today was a very busy day of going here, there, and everywhere. Uh, I finally got my stupid knife, as I showed you earlier. Then I emailed the company saying, yeah, okay, I finally got it. Uh, I am going to be taking off tomorrow, starting in Richmond, and basically ending in Richmond for the night, and then getting up the next day and doing a couple meetings, and then getting back to Virginia Beach. My plan is to be back in Virginia Beach before noon. Okay, so again, all over the place, but that's what a daily vlog is all about, showing you all the crazy shit I do all day. And that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.